Fibromyalgia is a condition associated with fatigue chronically and uh, pain that is often out of proportion that one would expect. It is also commonly seen to be associated with autonomic dysfunction. Autonomic dysfunction is a condition that often results in fatigue but has a wide array of organ systems that are involved creating diverse symptoms such as cognitive impairment, difficulties with urination or digestion, difficulties with sleep, or it also has uh, association with thermal dysregulation or the inability to cool or heat oneself appropriately. It has been determined recently that fibromyalgia in fact represents an inflammatory process involving the peripheral autonomic nerve fibers. This makes sense when you consider that the symptoms of fibromyalgia are in fact symptoms of autonomic dysfunction. Most therapies for fibromyalgia are currently aimed at the pain that is associated with the disease. Fibromyalgia is an inflammation of the peripheral autonomic nerves and therefore pain is a predominant symptom. Medications uh, related to this include uh, neuropathic pain medications. Alternatively, patients are taking a, a medication known as low-dose naltrexone. These are all palliative in nature. They don't address the actual disease itself. TVAM is a new procedure used to treat autonomic dysfunction or what is known as dysautonomia. It involves placing a catheter inside a vein that has a special balloon at the end. By inflating the balloon inside the vein, we're able to stimulate the autonomic nerve fibers and improve the function of the autonomic nervous system. This results in a reduction in patient symptoms related to dysautonomia. Patients that are interested in this therapy typically have two very important questions. The first is, what are the chances this is going to help me? The second is, how long will that last? We've analyzed a recent series of patients in preparation for a publication in a medical journal. And from that, we learned that the majority of patients do respond in autonomic symptoms actually immediately following the procedure. Those symptoms are fatigue, thermal regulation, and cognitive impairment. And the response is minutes after the procedure. It is an immediate response. This uh, response may diminish and fall off within two months' time in about 20% of patients. However, the 80% of patients see this benefit maintained. In a separate uh, study that we're doing with approximately 400 patients, we found that at six months, the majority have either continued improvements or maintenance of the symptomatic improvements. The best part about it is that having done this procedure for over three years is that I have patients now that have gone that long who've maintained the symptomatic relief from the day of the procedure until now.